So here we go, guys. We are going to talk about scale grid drawings and starting our landscapes um, with this technique. This is a technique that's been around for a really long time, like Da Vinci used it like a long time ago. Actually, technically, way back in the day, like Egyptians even used this. So it's a long time ago. It's been used for a while, and it's how to draw something accurately. That's what I'm going to be looking for in your drawings. But this technique can teach anybody how to draw. I mean anybody, like your parents who say, I can't really draw, but uh, I'm pretty good at stick figures. They, they could even do this. So it's kind of like using math to draw, but a little easier. We still get to make pretty pictures. So here we go. We have a grid that's set up on a piece of paper. We got a grid. This happens to be a 9 by 12. I believe we are switching over to an 8 by 10, but it's the same idea. Um, it's a grid, doesn't really do anything. We set this up on our piece of paper. Um, what I told you to do was get a picture. So here happens to be a picture. This picture has meaning, that's the whole point. Um, this is a picture of Thailand and it means a lot to me. Um, I actually taught in Thailand for a while. I got to obviously visit the awesome beaches and I got to teach art and English and computer classes. Uh, over in Thailand. So I lived there for a while and everything. So this really means a lot to me and I can write something about it just like you're supposed to be able to write about your landscape. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to put a grid on it. Boom. Now it's a really scary drawing, well, photograph, with a grid on it. If I told you, hey everybody, go draw this, go, ready, go. Um, I'm pretty sure some people in here would start crying. Uh, with all the texture in the trees and the different texture in the rocks and the shiny water and the craziness of all the sand and the straight lines of this. I mean, literally it is. It is a daunting and scary picture to have to draw. But we put a grid on it and it's still just a scary picture with a grid on it. So we look at this and it has the same exact number of grid. Mm, coincidence? I think not. What we're going to do here is we're going to look at this again and start screaming. But we can all draw this. We can all draw this. Not a big deal. We are going to be doing a line drawing. So literally, you are just going to be looking at the line. So we're going to draw up and over this and out of the frame there. It doesn't even come close to halfway up this. It doesn't even come to half of a half. What's half of a half? A quarter, exactly. It's math. It's crazy. It's about centered here, but it's literally we're going to draw this one little line, and that's it. We can all do that, I know. So, where is that on here? If we look over here, it is right over here. So, not just, hey, it's here, but literally, it's all the way on the left column, and it's down one, two, three, four. So, we need to be able to count two. It's crazy numbers. Um, what we're going to do here is I'm going to go one, two, three, four. I'm even going to make a line here and a line here. I'm even going to mark where it's out and where it leaves that square. I'm going to look then at my piece of paper, and I'm going to count one, two, three, four down on the left-hand column. I could even mark these, the halfway points and where it exits the square. And then I could draw it, the nice line drawing, or copy and paste it like I did in Photoshop. But that's besides the point. So this one's a little bit more scary, but really not. We're doing a line drawing. It goes out here, kind of goes up a little bit, maybe back down a little bit. Not a big deal. Eventually, I might come in and draw a line straight down this just to show where this shaded area is. I'm not actually going to shade anything because I'm just doing a line drawing. But there's that. That's the second one. That was five down. And that's where we start. I actually started, very important part, I started on the horizon line. If we accurately put that in, it really helps to start the whole drawing from that area. Instead of just starting to draw and you counted your square and then you go, wee, and the mountain goes way up here and it doesn't work out because then your giant umbrella somehow takes over this whole area and it looks like garbage. But that's besides the point. If you count square by square, you should be able to draw this. Even when you get into here, you do need to look at the details. Like here is a line of the sand, and then there's a, the other line of the sand where it meets the shadow of the trees. And then there's the actual tree line and the shadow line 
and then the bumps of the trees. So you got to go through this. But I would start with the horizon and then probably the bigger lines, like all the way across like this and all the way back around and then maybe the smoother sand. But what we're doing is we're just trying to draw an accurate drawing square by square. It's not that square. You'll be able to do it. It's just actually counting and making sure it's accurate. Good job, everybody. Have a great day. Good luck.